<laughs> G'day viewers, hope you're all well. Um, well, it really looks like Klaus Schwab's team and supporters is, are really, really trying to stop people from, from having their own food and, and growing their own food um, in order for us to, to have to be fed this laboratory style food or laboratory manufactured food that they're trying to tell us is is actually will be animal meat it's from animal cells but how can it be from animals if it's grown in a, in a test tube so now they're trying to tell us that um a, a little while back they they said that our veggie patches are can be poisoning us and the main main reason for this video is that um they're now telling us that that eggs Homegrown eggs are bad for us, chicken eggs and duck eggs and things like that. But what we're looking at on the screen now is um, details of the um, of what's been happening over the past couple of years when they really started pushing the fact that your what you grow at home, what you raise at home is could be toxic. So what a people, choice have people got with the way things are at the moment? The government does nothing about the inflation and the cost of living rises, the cost of rent everything like that. Food is going up phenomenally. Um, for that, I blame the big supermarkets like Coles and Woolies because the farmers aren't getting any more money. The milk dairy farmers aren't getting any more money. The poultry farmers aren't getting any more money. So it's only these, these end suppliers to us that are making more money. So what's, what's the deal? Why are we now being told that the food we produce at home, um, or even in a in a larger allotment, is going to be dangerous for us with with dangerous chemicals and and heavy metals. It's just another way that the elitists can stop us from having or being able to do something for ourselves. They want us to have to eat and drink what they supply with us. And as we all know, Klaus Schwab said, you will have nothing and you will be happy. Well, I'm not gonna be happy with the government supplying everything that I need um, if they think I've been good enough for it with this social credit system that is going to be taking over the world shortly. It's, um, it's just ridiculous. Now, I personally think that the best way for people to push back and to stand up to these governments trying to do this to us is to get together in, in a group or just a few friends, family members, something like that, and start your own veggie patch or small holding where you can have a few, just a few chooks, um, have some, grow a heap of veggies just for enough for the, the, your family, just to, to keep on hand. That way you cut out these big supermarkets and you can then use those veggies to trade with other people that don't have what you have and, and they grow or, or raise what you want. Now, we can really stand up for ourselves this way and show the world, show the elites that we're not going to comply and that we're not going to, to just bow down and, and be starving little animals being drip fed or like, you know, the pictures you see of these little, little um, freshly hatched birds in the nest with their heads up in the air and mouths open screaming for the mothers to f and fathers to feed them. We're not going to be like that. that. No matter how much the government wants us to be like that, we won't be like that because we've got to take things into our own hands and start doing things for ourselves. What we've seen in recent times from the United States is the food manufacturing plants or the food processing plants are systematically getting burnt down for some strange reason which is putting America in, in a dire straits for their um, food production and food output for the, for the people of America. I don't think it's gonna be long before we see that here. The, the government, even the state governments are doing the most they can to try and control what the people do. You've got the likes of Bill Gates going around buying up farmland because he wants and well, I suppose not just him, it's the greenies and everything like that. And all these climate cult people, they want the agriculture industry destroyed. They want 
everything to be to be put in front of us from a test tube. They don't want um, the cows and the sheep methane levels, so they'll start doing away with the the cattle industry, which is what the the foot and mouth will be doing with cattle, sheep, pigs. Um, there's it's easy to see that they're bringing out different ways in order to decimate these um, such important um, avenues that, that we need to survive and that people need for their well-being and for their livelihoods. So we're just, we're just going downhill and it's taken many, many years, but it's been a, a long slog with these elitists, but it's about time that, that we as a nation and as um, free citizens of the world to stand up against these cretins who are trying to put us under complete control. That's, that's all I can say, people, that the ball is really in our court to do something. And we, we really need to start now. It's already too late, but I don't believe that, that it can't be reversed. I have the faith that the Lord is always in control and that he will not let us go too far with this but we need to, to serve ourselves and need to fight for ourselves to start with. Now, if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, for, that way I can get, this video can be put out to more people. These videos can be put out to more people. So thank you everyone for listening and watching and hope this has opened your eyes up a bit. God bless.